everyone. This is the Beer Watcher. It is February 1st, 2017. We're looking at a web camera over Lake Starnberg on a nice blue sky before the chemtrail planes start flying overhead. And these little specks in the sky are going to be basically the lens array. I'll show you later before you start calling them lens flares. Wow, it's a lot of hexagonal lens flares, by the way. Yeah, that's stuff on the lens. Well, just keep watching because this is the day before. In this video, I'll prove to you that you can see what we're looking at here. There's two giant planets and the projection of the planet, uh, the out-of-focus planet. And this is the day before the eclipse. Now I'm going to show you the day of the eclipse. Now watch this. We're going to do go back in time here. Now, I bet you the weather report over Lake Starnberg was mostly sunny. Well, that's all about the change. See all these chemtrails that they're polluting our skies with. Just geoengineering? Yeah, well, you're going to start to see a pattern here that everybody's seeing around the world. I've got photos and videos of these so-called sun halos. Watch this. Okay, so this is a couple hours before. We can clearly see these are not cirrus clouds. These are planes flying their flight patterns to cover up what's coming. Now watch this. Now this is just getting crazier. You'll see the dry powdery chemtrail, okay, that's just falling out of the sky. Definitely not cirrus clouds, okay, because if you look up sun halos, they're supposed to be ice crystals from cirrus clouds, but these are chemtrails. But if you want to call them contrails, just keep watching. Watch what happens. Now, now they're pouring on real heavy, and the sun is coming across the sky. And what's going to happen next is the beginning of a solar eclipse. Yes, you heard it right. You're going to start seeing this pattern more and more in your skies. It's being seen around the world. So here comes the sun. Continue to lay down a thick trail. And already we see the outer boundaries of the planet. See right here, you can see the early signs of, a, of what we see as a rainbow effect. But just keep watching. Watch this thing, okay? Halo? How can it be? And now, oh, I want to show you what. I also want to notice that the ISO speed, which sets the brightness of the camera, so it's well adjusted, 100 degrees. And next, we can see right here, this little halo here. In the next frame, we can see this thing further eclipsing the sun and this rainbow effect is getting more obvious to the eye. You have to look for it, but it's there and it's big and it's round. And this thing is getting bigger and bigger. Keep in mind, there's more than one planet. Now it's getting pretty obvious. People are starting to see this thing, right? This rainbow effect, watch. <laughs> Now look at the brightness in the, in the area. Look how bright everything is. Now this sun simulator can't create the heat, but it does a okay job creating the light, but you can still see the dimmed out light. Now look at the, the halo here in this shot. Are we seeing it's getting longer and bigger as the thing comes into view. And now it's almost complete. We have as a partial eclipse. Now we steal the rainbow effect, still moving along, bouncing off these chemtrails. And now it's getting pretty obvious as it completely begins to completely eclipse the sun. We see the border outlines of this. We also have another planet here, but as this planet, I wish we could have had on this on time, more of a better time lapse, but this is one shot at a time. As we see that the thing progress, we can see, let me click on this next view. That will show the thing what the website was hiding if you click on it. So here we can see early signs of, uh, actually the next frame will be a little better, but right here under this A, we're going to see the other side of this coin. Yeah, that's looking pretty insane. Let me zoom in every single photo because this is pretty stunning. And this thing is only getting better, bigger and bigger with time. So I would like to do comparative video showing the size of this. We have the edge of it here and the edge of it here. Now we're in a pretty much a full eclipse. And notice the ISO has still at 100. And 
absence of light in the next frame. This scene continues to move and we can see in this next frame. Oh my gosh, this thing's getting big. Look at that. Again, if it's a sun halo, why is it so predictable? There's no reason for this except it is a planet casting its massive shadow. Okay, this is the atmospheric light coming from around the Nemesis system. So what we're looking at is the fake sun here, the eclipsing of massive shadowy planet, and then here. I know it's really hard to take all this in. So <laughs> watch, let's go to the next one. Now you can see this is being eclipsed. The planet is moving this way, and now we're seeing more light shining on this side of the view. Let's zoom in on this one. Well, next time you guys see a little sign of light, take out your camera and watch the whole thing eclipse. It's pretty breathtaking. One snap at a time. You're going to watch this light. Just This used to be rainbows, but now it's bright white. It, and then the next frame. We can see it continuing to eclipse our sun in the total absent, uh, not a total absence of light, but a total light drop. You can I'll go back and forth in time. So I'm going to go back to this again. We can see this thing begins to set and we can see the remnants of this shadow follows right along this edge. Wow, so much for the sun halo. Then uh, for any skeptics out there that don't think there's a fake sun, well, NASA had made a fake patent on this. So I'd like to show you uh, the fake sun, sun simulator patent. And here we have, I think this is actually more telling this is the International Space Station. Okay, so where's your uh, ice crystals now? This is in outer space, right? And here we have a planetary object. I think they might have had a second sun simulator in this. So in this sun simulator, I believe they do have like a sh an actual light blocking shield. But when it's actually bigger than all this, then it's an actual planet. And they probably to compensate for the movement of the planet and to help cover more area. But look at that. So there it is from space. Two of them. And there may be basically a moon simulator for hiding unexpected lunar eclipses as well. And we've been catching those. Go back in archives and watch some of them. And when these planets come really close to us, we even get cloud punches like we see in this video, the people, when this thing gets close, we have the gravity waves of the Earth at perpendicular right angles of the, when these of the planetary punch. Okay, not a, we'll call them cloud punches. You're finding them all on the internet. Look, right in the middle of a chem spray, and when these right angle uh, magnetic fields flow from south to north, collide with the east to west magnetic fields from the other planet it's going to spin this thing and look at this vortex we're seeing them everywhere and a lot we see them many times during these chemtrails here's some other ones see how it's vortexing down punching right through the cloud it's all over the internet here's another one i like this one because here is showing the halo outer edge of the halo of the planet right on the punch what an amazing coincidence now, whether that's two clouds or a planetary punch dragging across our atmosphere at the same time. Pretty amazing. Then we could look at the NASA patent. This is the fake sun simulator. This generates the light. And this is caught on FAA camera. Why the reason why we're getting the hexagonal sun. And the lens array we get let's pull up this lens array real quick okay again and then in the lens array this is the reason why we're getting like that dirty speckled 
again here we can see Lanza's here and here and here moving out of in, in the path of these planetary objects the reason why we have the rose petal effect these are no ordinary lenses these are ultra thin lenses from the JPL Caltech look at the lens in here right we can see again the small lenses and the big lenses here and in, we can see this light here oscillating rotating and spinning captured again over I can find that video here we go this is over Australia we can see in clear detail the projection of this I say projection because of the lens system that's projecting this image this is makes it look like, almost like holographic and you can see the thing literally rotate you catch a portion of this to actually watch this thing rotate with the Sun in perfect sync if you're looking right down the center of this for an L lens that will be your black spot so go back and watch the archives of my videos of this and we go back to this scene again and there you have it hope you're starting to see the pattern here right see a loss of light let me go back look how dim everything is right here these are just chemtrails I'll bet the weather report said mostly sunny right and here you go so next time here is clear evidence of a secondary planet right here and this one here that's why we have the fake Sun but these halos look at that <laughs> Wow yep and so here are some subscriber Sun halo that was captured <coughs> Um, when you send me videos like this, please tell me where you're from, a little more detail. Don't know where this is at, but again, we're seeing the same. Here's the sun, and here's this like halo on the side, and you can see the chemtrail clouds over here. I'll bet it was mostly sunny until the end of the day, about probably two, three o'clock. They start spring like crazy. They, the entire path of the sun is being blocked by these trails. And then uh, this is my personal one here. I captured this one myself I live in this area I have never seen this before okay this is ex and again look at this here we have the rain it's not even a rainbow anymore it used to be we're seeing this daily everywhere around the world fake Sun and watching this thing eclipse I wish I had more time to sit there on the side of the road and catch this amazing thing so let's go back and watch the before and after the eclipse look at the light value of this camera how could you get no the our cameras already made its adjustments see how bright it is right there see everything's light just look how much lights in this picture the camera's already adjusted for 100 okay the aperture that's just your focal length that's not going to change the brightness look at this and then you see how just dim it just got right there it's real subtle time to wake up people there is a full-blown eclipse right there it really takes your breath away when you look at this thing time is getting short I'm afraid this is all we're gonna see is the Sun halos getting bigger and bigger you may catch a actual planet like Steve Olson even said, it's coming out like a big bubble until it pops. Well, what's that pop? Well, when this system is destroyed and these planes, it's too dangerous for them to spray in this atmosphere anymore. Wow. So, please copy, like, and share this video. I'll see you all at the Lord's Supper. Have a blessed day.